So what we're doing with the water flow in this aquarium, the most important thing that we have is very good surface agitation. So we've got um, low, um, so we've got good gas exchange because we've got low surface tension. And now the next thing that we've done is gone and angled the pumps in different directions. So one is basically going that way and the other one is going that way. So the next thing we're going to do, so these are Aqua L 10,000 circulators. So they're very powerful pumps. They use very little electricity and they move a lot of water, but they're not too harsh um, because they spread the water quite well. Um, but what we're going to do with this aquarium next is we're going to just get some good old timers. So for, for example, an hour, the water's going to run this way. Then for an hour, the water's going to run that way. Then for an hour, they're both on. Then an hour, they're both off. And we want to stagger it so it's not really a predictable one way than the other way. We want to just have it so it breaks up the whole way through. So, um, so the water is going in the different directions. And the water, and, and regularly both the pumps are on. So they've both got an amount of overlap. And it is really important if you are going to have the changing direction water flows, which is a really good idea. But you need to make sure your pumps are powerful enough in the first place to ensure that you're getting at least 15 times an hour in both directions. A lot of people will go and put their pumps on timers, but their pumps really aren't powerful enough to actually create much. Um, they really don't have enough power to create the kinetic energy to get the desired result. So the key to changing direction of pumps is number one leaving it long enough to create kinetic energy if you just do five minutes that way and five minutes that way you will never have much kinetic energy in the tank because by the time the water picks up some momentum it's changed around again and then it takes a long time for the water to change so i'm actually a big fan of making it go that way for a considerable period of time then making it go the other way for a considerable period of time then having both on for a period of time and then having short periods where they're both off.